Chapter 8, Lesson 7, Solve One-Step Inequalities. Example 1. Solve x plus 9 is greater than or equal to 12. Graph the solution on a number line. So we solve these inequalities the same way that we solve equations by using inverse operations. So I want to get x by itself. So I'm going to do the inverse of add 9 and I'm going to subtract 9 to both sides. These equal 0 and can be canceled out, so we're left with x. We want to bring down the same symbol, is greater than or equal to 3. Now to graph this, we put a closed circle at 3 because 3 is included as a solution, and then we could shade any number greater than or equal to 3. Example 2. Solve x minus 5 is less than 7. Graph the solution on a number line. So I'm going to do the inverse of subtracting 5, and I'm going to add 5 to both sides. This equals 0 and cancels out. We're left with x. Bring down the same symbol is less than 12. To graph this, I'm going to put an open circle at 12 because 12 itself is not a solution but anything less than 12 is, so I'm going to shade anything less than 12 on a number line. Try these yourself to check for understanding. Example 3. Solve 4x is less than or equal to 44. Graph the solution on a number line. So 4 is being multiplied by x, so I'm going to do the inverse and divide by 4. 4 over 4 can be canceled out and we're left with x is less than or equal to 11. So we're going to put a closed circle at 11 because it's less than or equal to 11. And then we're going to shade all numbers less than 11 on a number line. Example 4. Solve x divided by 4 is greater than 2. Graph the solution on a number line. So in this case, x is being divided by 4, so we're going to do the inverse and multiply by 4 on both sides. 4 over 4 is 1. 1 times x leaves us with x. x is greater than 2 times 4 is 8. So we're going to put an open circle at 8, and we're going to shade all numbers greater than 4 on a number line. Try these yourself to check for understanding. Example 5. Lindsay is making bags of candy for her five children for Halloween. She doesn't want to spend more than $30 on the bags of candy. Write an inequality to find the maximum cost for each bag of candy. So if Lindsay is making bags for five children, and then each bag is going to cost a certain amount that we don't know, we can show this cost by saying 5 times B, where B is the cost per bag. So five times the cost per each bag, she doesn't want to be more than $30. So this has to be less than or equal to $30. So this is the inequality. Now we can solve this by dividing both sides by five. And we're left with B is less than or equal to six. So each bag has to cost $6 or less 
for her to not exceed her $30 budget. 